why we set Namdekano free? Justice Oludotun Adefope Okoji. Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. According to the news of today, Justice Oludotun Adefope Okoji retired has explained why Namdekano was set free in the last appeal court judgment, which of course the Nigerian government refused to pay. According to her, in his lordship compelling remark during the validatory court session organized in her honor by the court in Lagos to mark her retirement from the bay after 27 years of meritorious service on the bench, the erudite jurist retreated her lead judgment in Mazenam de Kano's case, in which he was discharged and acquitted and remarked as follows. The court must never shy away from calling the executive to order when they resort to act of executive lawlessness. The duty of the court is to maintain a balance between ensuring that law and order is obeyed and the protection of the individual from oppressive actions by the executive I stand by this position. No authority must be allowed to go against its own domestic law and international laws to perpetuate any act against its citizens. According to the beautiful mother, she says, May my noble Lord be eternally blessed Posterity shall indeed be kind to you for this landmark judgment that has continued to haunt the defend government and center the federal government of Nigeria can run as far as they can, but they cannot hide. Justice delay is not justice denied. In the end, justice must prevail. What this woman was saying is this. That the reason Nande can lease of Nande can is supposed to be obeyed by federal government. What she said is this that sometimes the so called executives disobey court orders. Disobey the constitution, the same constitution that they're supposed to be protected. And this is why they continue. To mess the life of innocent people up. I thank God that this great woman. has come to say to you and I 
that Nigerian government sometime try to destroy their own constitution with their own hand because they want to nail someone who did not commit any crime. And this is the truth. Because since this woman, the Charmazan Namdekano, the same Nigerian government has continued to keep him incommunicado. The funniest part is this are why you who continue to issue order to Buhari. When I tell you that Buhari is an impostor, take it from me. If not, how can a president who's supposed to protect a law, a constitution made by a constitution that's supposed to protect everybody in Nigeria. Instead, he continue to call that constitution bluff. And British are aiding him to commit all this crime. People should have British government. Is this how they mess around with their own constitution? Is this how they disobey court order? When I look at British government, sometimes I laugh. They are fake. Completely fake. They believe that I am afraid of them. They are mad. I am not. I can never be. I have seen it all. I have gone. I have conquered. Even if I'm arrested today, I'll be bold enough to say it face to face to them. Nothing man can use to threaten me. I am one of the bravest. It's not because I said it. It's the fact those who know, know. Other judges should take example from this woman. They should live an exemplary life because they are the ones contributing in the atrocities being committed by Nigerian government against his own citizen. You will see a man running from police and Nigerian government. He saw a courthouse or a judge, he ran to him, please save me. I did not commit any crime. They are trying to frame me up. But that same judge will leave him another way. As they are pursuing the person, the person is running to judge, the judge is running away. Because the judge is a coward. Maybe somehow she or he has committed something bad. And for this reason, he doesn't want to fight Nigerian government because they will look for a way to make sure they pin him down or her down. This is the truth. But if our judges, their hands are clean, nobody will pin them down. Time has come for them to learn from this beautiful mother who just retired. Even though I suspect that they retired her because of the case of Mazenam, they cannot. Because after the case, so many people were retired and some were transferred to somewhere else. Before they came up with their nonsense state for execution from the same appeal court, but different judges. Time shall tell. J. Piafra. <laughs>